So I got back from the Ikea like 10 minutes ago and I've been drinking my chocolate milk that I got specifically because I come back from the Ikea absolutely ravenous and um, completely irrational. So hooked myself up. This is the best chocolate milk. It's delicious. It's worth every single excessive calorie, every single one. I would trade in almost any dessert for this particular beverage. It's perfect, absolutely perfect. They got an award. I agree with that. But Spencer wasn't here this week, so um, I did this on my own. Yeah, I'm impressed with myself, too. This was remarkably inexpensive. Um, I'm excited to show you all that. Well, that's not from the Lie Key. That's from a store. I'll show you that, too. Give me a second. Okay, let's start with my extras that I picked up on the way home. Um, I have to clean the fridge today, which is why at the very end of all of this, eventually, probably in a couple hours, you'll see um, what I do have actually left in my pantry in addition to this new food. But this is my reward for doing it. And by reward, I mean I get to drink it while I do it. I'm excited. It's one of my favorite sparkling wines. It's 10 euros. It's a bomb. And then I really want to make peach protein shakes later on this week. But all I have is chocolate coconut and then iced coffee protein powders because that's what I like to drink when I just mix them with water. And that's gross, whatever. So I went and got my favorite protein powder brand in vanilla, you know, a classic. Um, this company is so good if you live in Europe totally get it it's unbelievable um, very excited if you put it with like ice and water and a milkshake it turns into a giant thing of foam which i guess some people don't like but i'm judging you because that's obviously the best way to drink a protein shake i take it back i can start the tour with some of the stuff we got in the pantry these are a couple apricots spencer has left these are avocados which are basically perfect we'll be having avocado toast tomorrow here's some bananas i've been eating in my cereal in the mornings because i'm in a cereal phase of life uh, two peaches that have seen better days. They'll get frozen along with everything else. Two green apples. Oh, dude, I forgot to put it in my coleslaw last night. Oh, that's sad. Damn. And then we have some little tomatoes that Spencer eats. Two big tomatoes, including this dude, which is totally, totally past its prime. Um, I think I can save part of it. It's pretty gnarly, though. Yeah, it doesn't look okay. Uh, then some, we have some potatoes that look fine, some sweet potatoes, a whole bunch of onions, so I did pick up a couple extras and a bit of garlic. Uh, two limes that are, I don't know, I can use them to make tea, but I can't actually juice them anymore. And a couple lemons. On to the new stuff. Okay, the tour. We got a whole bunch of eggplants, gonna make a giant thing of eggplant dip and then freeze some of it. I got two zucchinis, cause I'm really craving that ratatouille. I think it's ratatouille. I'm craving some ratatouille. So I got a couple zucchinis to make that with said eggplants and the tomatoes. Uh, this is actually a cucumber melon. I think they're delicious and like a traditional Greek salad, they're really bomb. So I got another one. It usually takes me two weeks to finish one of them cause they're so huge. I got another green cabbage because I finished mine on my coleslaw last night. Two heads of coriander, a whole bunch of nectarines. These ones will be safe to be eating, but most of them got a little crushed, which is okay, because I was planning on freezing them anyways. Some more garlic, spicy peppers, a whole bunch of red peppers for the eggplant dip. A few extra onions, because I'm going to run through a ton of them making these different dips this week. Uh, a green onion, some extra lemons, a whole bunch of peaches that are exclusively going in the freezer, a whole bunch of plums that will also be made into plum sauce and then frozen. A cucumber, two different types of figs. I'm going to try to eat them side by side, and I'll let you know which one I prefer because I don't know if I have a preference between the two of them. They're both delicious. I've come to know that I like figs. Anyways, the egg guy had these cute little eggs. They're so tiny, which is absolutely perfect because I picked up these... I don't think they're technically collard greens, but anyways, I like making them kind of like a creamed spinach-esque style dish, and then you put a little bit of hollandaise sauce and a fried egg on top of them, and it is heavenly. It's this mock-up of a dish I had at a tasting fair for a Greek Michelin star restaurant. Anyways, I live for this creamy fat bomb of a deliciousness, and I'm, oh, my mouth's already watering. And we got some more bananas, because I'm gonna make some banana bread muffins like banana nut muffins for spencer's office on friday and so i need to make sure i have a whole bunch so i got extra and i got a whole bunch of tomatoes to make a myriad of different dishes including some fresh marinara and the ratatouille i spoke of earlier a couple of fresh limes that i'm probably going to keep in the fridge this time because i don't want to age out my limes for a second time um this is almira which is basically it translates to um the vegetable salt wort which is a whole set of different species that grow in the salty marshes um this particular looking one is my favorite though i have a different one 
prepped in the fridge right now i tend to like eating it with a little bit of soy sauce and rice vinegar and sesame oil and i eat it cold usually with my fingers in pure vegetable joy because it is one of my favorite green things to consume i crave it Ugh, i'm going to miss i'm going to miss almeida so much it's my favorite thing here anyways and then i also saw some toilet paper and a thing of paper towels and then these pita because we picked up the pita last week and they are beyond exceptional so far the it's what's going to be used to consume all the dips I'm making today. And then for some reason I felt like I forgot to mention my regular cucumber. I don't have plans for this regular cucumber, but every time I don't have a cucumber, I get upset because I'm out of cucumbers. And they usually last two weeks in the fridge anyway, so. Let me get the seafood. These are going to be living in the fridge for another like six hours, so I don't want to keep them out too long. They were already with me in the light key, which is rough. So I got two of these. These are pretty good sized fish, but based on experience, I can definitely eat a whole one and Spencer will eat three quarters of one of these on his own. So I got two of them. We might have leftovers that I'll stuff into a taco, but should be good. And then, woo I've never had one of these, but this is the cheapest place I've ever seen them. So if I'm gonna experiment with learning how to make octopus, I might as well do it here. One of Spencer's coworkers convinced him and then he wasn't here to tell me no. So I got an octopus. Normally you grill these, but I don't have a grill, so I'm just gonna have to like crank the oven. Spencer will probably be very upset by this. He um, doesn't eat octopus because of, because of their intelligence, but I'm kind of like life is life. So why would that be the gradation with which I don't eat different meats? I don't know. I do love octopus though. Bleak thoughts about murder on your average weekend, but if you're going to eat meat, you should at least be able to take the emotional toil and the moral turmoil that comes along with eating it. Consider it. Be proud of your life. It'll be delicious. All of that was 60 euros. Um, and a lot of it is going to stretch in the next week or be used throughout the winter when fruit gets much more expensive. Yeah, it should be great. I love, I love freezer prep. I love freezers. We have a normal size freezer. I wish we had a big size freezer because like the little Idahoan in me would just keep an entire freezer collection and just gift everyone frozen things for Christmas. But Spencer thinks it's unrealistic and we don't really have a place to put the freezer, so it's only for personal use. Unless you come over for dinner, we invite you. You should always come over for dinner. 